What's up everybody? Jeremy with Outpost Vans here today. Uh, we're actually in Oceanside, California this morning and we're gonna take you on a tour of our latest build. It's a 2019 Mercedes Sprinter. We did a full build out on this from interior to exterior. Uh, we're pretty excited and happy with how this build turned out and we're excited to show it off today. Uh, starting with the exterior, you can see we've got all-terrain wheel and tire package. We've got the Lumines rack up top with Baja lights, Fiamma awning. We've even got a roof nest, uh, rooftop tent up there. We did the uh, T-vent windows on the driver and passenger side, and then we've got some additional Baja designed lights up front. Uh, yeah, pretty stoked on this, and uh, let's check out the interior. All right, so starting right here with the entryway, you can see you've got your first lower cabinet here. Uh, this is where the sink faucet is and the flip up table. Uh, so this is all walnut hardwood countertop. Uh, turned out awesome. Just check this out here. Bam, flips up, extends the counter space. And let me show you this right here. This actually is a really cool custom shoe cubby that we did out of walnut hardwood. So just slides open, throw your shoes in, a little bit of extra storage right there. So another really cool feature about this van that we've added is this uh, two-person fold-away, fold-up seat here. Uh, these are really nice if you haven't seen these before. And what we do at our shop is we actually custom weld and fabricate a bracket that's bolted underneath the van and through the frame of the van, and the seat is bolted down through to that bracket. So it's very safe, very secure, and um, it's, they're really nice to have. So once you get to your spot, uh, it actually folds up and stows away. Uh, so it really opens up this front space in the living area in the van. So when you're doing your cooking, your food prep, uh, you've got a nice open space here. So let me show you how easy it is to deploy. Step on this, folds down, fold it up, and you're ready to go. So we've got our seat folded down. We've got our table swiveled back. Uh, so you can see this walnut table here uh, is a great way to either eat at or something for the kids when you're driving to your campsite. So another really cool feature that we wanted to show you guys is this custom walnut overhead storage shelf we added in here. I mean, these are great. Uh, lots of additional storage and things you can put up here. So the next feature we want to show you guys is a Max Air Fan. And if you take a look, we actually trimmed this out in a walnut hardwood here normally see that white plastic insert in there. We didn't want to do that, made this one extra nice. So get the remote, turn it on. You've got ventilation in or out of the van. So yeah, this is great to cool it down or uh, ventilate out if you're cooking inside the van. Uh, so roof fan is a must have in any van build. So I want to tell everybody about the sink setup and a little bit about uh, the systems behind it. So of course we've got the stainless steel sink and fixture here, uh, but we actually have hot water at the sink which is really nice to have, really cool. Uh, and how we do that is we actually have an electric hot water heater in this lower cabinet here. So I'll show you guys this really quick. We have electric hot water heater, five gallon gray tank here. Uh, and that hot water heater runs off a 120 volt system, uh, which means we've got to turn on the inverter to make that happen. So I'll show you right here. In this upper cabinet, we have our monitoring console with the inverter remote. So when I want to use that, flip it on. Uh, and another really cool thing that we have is we have the hot water heater hooked up to a timer switch. Why? We have it hooked up to that switch so that way you can select the amount of time you want your hot water heater to be on. So five, 10 minutes, uh, we found that that's kind of the best time. You select one of those and then it turns on for that amount of time and then it'll turn itself off to save power. Uh, so a really cool feature there. You've also got an additional um, set of outlets up there for all those standard household items. So now that you've got your hot water ready to rock, all you need to do is come over here, hit your water pump switch, and then you're ready to go. So next we'll jump into the upper cabinetry. We've got full length cabinets on the driver's side and we've got three sets right here on the passenger side, just over the seating area. Now let's check these things out. So gas struts, soft close hinges, super nice. Again, we've got more walnut trim on the inside. And these are actually cork bottoms, if you guys can see this on here. So uh, we thought that was a really nice touch, adds some elegance to the cabinets, so super cool there. So next we'll talk about lighting in the van. We've got two different zones set up. First one here on the passenger side, this is your main overhead zone. That's on a dimmer. 
Uh, so really nice, dim it, keep it bright, however you'd like. The second one is we actually have some under cabinet lighting also on a dimmer right over here. So on, off, dim up and down, uh, set the mood in the van. There is a lot packed into this lower cabinet right here. Uh, we'll start with the countertop. Again, this is walnut hardwood. We've got our 120 volt outlet right here up top. So, I mean, this is great for anything that you wanna power up to 3000 watts. We've got a 3000 watt inverter in this van. Uh, so really nice, you can do your coffee maker, toaster oven, uh, anything up to 3000 watts. Next up top, we've got a two burner propane cooktop. So this is great to be cooking multiple things at once on your trips. Uh, so really nice to have. And we're actually really big fans of cooking with propane in the van. Uh, that's why we got that fan for ventilation. So let me show you where we have the tank here. You reach down, tank is hidden and stowed away there. We've got our Wabasto 12 volt diesel heater. Flip that bad boy on and you're ready to keep the van nice and warm if it gets cold out. So we've got an Isotherm Cruise 65 fridge and uh, got it nice and stocked for them. Some nice tasty beverages in there uh, for uh, the client to enjoy. This is a walnut utensil holder. So uh, they're gonna keep all their cooking utensils right in here. We've also added several USB outlets throughout the van. Uh, and these are really nice because these are a quick charge and you can actually turn them on or off. A lot of times USB outlets, you'll see they're just always on using a little bit of power, but you just flip this up, turn it on and you're ready to charge pretty fast. So another highlight feature of this van is actually the living area, the dinette uh, and this table. So this is a walnut table trimmed with hardwood. We've got another hardwood inlay. This turned out really awesome. Uh, very nautical feeling actually. So we actually try to borrow a lot from the marine industry in our builds and how we put into it from codes, components to design. Uh, so really stoked on this. And this actually doubles as your bed platform in this van. So uh, when you're ready to go to bed, what you need to do is you've got these removable legs down here. You just pull this table up, remove these legs. These legs actually stow underneath this bench seat here. Drop this table down and you've got your bed platform ready to go. So under this bench here, we have all of our electrical systems and components. And what we've got powering this van is we've got a 3000 watt inverter from Victron Energy. We've got 300 amp hour batteries from Battleborn. We've got solar charge controller. We've got DC to DC charge controller. So that way you stay charged up as you drive. So next we're gonna talk about your outdoor shower setup right here that you've got in this van. So. You've got your water fill right here. Uh, this actually goes into a 20 gallon wheel well water tank that's underneath this uh, bench seat here. You've got your quick disconnect for your shower nozzle, and then you've got your hot cold mixer and water pump switch right there. So uh, let's give it a try. Shower time. Another thing we did on this van is we actually trimmed all the door panels with this fabric here. So it gives it a really nice factory feel. There's closed cell foam behind these. so. Uh, they're really nice and plush to the touch. Gives it a nice factory finish. All right, on this driver's side here, we've got our side ladder to get up onto the roof. This is powder coated aluminum, so it's lightweight, it'll never rust. Super nice, gets you up top. So up here on the roof, we've got our roof nest rooftop tent. This is the Falcon XL. This is the biggest one they have. Uh, we've also got our 360 watt solar panel up here. That's keeping everything charged uh, in the van. So uh, we're ready to deploy this thing. So it's super easy. You've got two latches here. Yeah. Lift it up. So inside the rooftop tent up here, uh, this thing is super nice and awesome. It's gonna give you great views wherever you're at. I mean, we're looking at the ocean right now and this thing is pretty killer. It's really nice and roomy too. I'm six foot and I can sit up uh, pretty much all the way. I have plenty of room, so this would be great for two people. And um, yeah, it's super nice. And the, the pad on is actually really comfortable. It's a memory foam under here. Uh, so these are awesome. All right, everybody. Thanks for checking out our latest van build. Uh, if you want to learn more, head to outpostvans.com. You can follow us on Instagram at outpostvans. And be sure to like and subscribe to this video.